driving around my 2000 Honda Insight for the last few weeks has been pretty great, except for the glaring issue that life is trying to take hold inside of it. A few episodes ago, you saw me try to clean this thing myself, but I don't really know what I'm doing, and I didn't have any real equipment other than some microfiber towels and some Meguiar's interior detail. I'm not exactly going to do an entire car that's been sitting open to the elements for three years. So today we're going to go visit my friend Josh. He's a local detailer here, and he's going to make this thing a much, much nicer place to be and it is going to be wonderful. And I can't wait to see what he thinks of this absolute disaster. Bring him one of the good ones. I don't normally get to work on older, grimier stuff like this, so sometimes it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Only got lost twice, made it over to Josh's. We got two silver hatchbacks here. Basically the exact same thing, right? Right? Yeah. I'd say so. All right, so so what are your what are your thoughts here? You trying to kill me? I. <laughs> oh my God, that's a lot of spicy dirt, bro. <laughs> it's some spicy dirt. I think there's something growing on that door card over there. Yeah, but... it's like a terrarium back there. Well, fortunately, since the window was broken out completely, I don't think it got like full on swamp oh, mode. I don't okay, think there's okay. actually mold. Ow. I think it's just a lot of dust and like dust that got rained on and became. <laughs> Spicy dust. Spicy dust. Uh, I mean, the hatch isn't that bad either. Ah, it just, that's not bad. It just needs more than I have. I mean, that's that's sort of how the whole car oh. was. Uh, probably the worst car you've ever done, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what can let's, do it. let's see what can happen. All right. So. Jake took my 911 to Walmart, and uh, I get the inside. So we're gonna start with a vacuum and uh, see if uh, it doesn't kill me. So wish me luck. got the insight back from Josh. He did an amazing job. I mean, just look at this. It's the weirdest thing though. It feels like, it, it feels a little faster than it did before. Like, oh, that's weird. I guess, uh, I guess it is true what they say. A clean car is a happy car. I'm vlogging with a giant tripod. A few minutes into vacuum and chill with the insight. And it's already looking like a few bucks. So, more work. No Rona here. Mountain Dew. A drink for hybrid owners. That's pretty full too. I might drink that. Later. Put that in the fridge. Yes. This uh, wonderful rusted and God knows what happened to this. This probably lived an awful life. I'm sorry. This is not helping my want of a Cayman. Such good cars, gosh. I mean, a Cayman's not a, a Cayman's not a 911. This is a, a Carrera, but it's just, uh, all Porsches just feel so good, so dailyable, and yet so special. Just the best cars and fairly reliable as far as exotics go. Got a Rhesus Big Cup, uh, some Marlboro Blacks, and it looked like somebody uh, attempted to smoke the box as well. Um, a 1 8 Quick Trip Coffee Cup, 
and the straw to presumably go with that one eighth coffee cup. Now to pick it up. God knows what that is. I sure hope there aren't any needles. I need a mask. This is bad. Took the 911, went and did a little Walmart run, got this Bluetooth cassette adapter because I absolutely am getting so sick of listening to the radio. It's the same five songs, and if there's a song I don't like, I there's like a 90% chance that I switch to another channel, and that song is playing. Seriously, public radio is the worst. It is the absolute worst. I'm sure the fidelity on this isn't gonna be great, but uh, let's be honest, we're not exactly dealing with audiophile equipment. So I went to go get 100% wife because she absolutely loves Porsches, and we're gonna go on a little drive back over to Josh's and see how the Honda is coming along. Alright, so I'd say we're getting close to being done with the preliminary vacuum. So, stuff like this. And vlogging with a giant tripod. Not the move. Ow! Pinch my finger. Well, preliminary vacuum's almost done, I'd say. Let's get back through here. So. almost done there's so much dust and I'm assuming it's mostly from sitting out for so long in the open with windows down and whatnot but uh, my allergies are not doing good so all right we're gonna finish the vacuum and I don't know we'll decide where to go next so Oh, allergies. All right, so I would pretty much say that the preliminary vacuum is over with. And so I kind of got to know the car just a little bit more. Um, still dusty. Uh, actually, all that stuff I was pulling out behind the seats, it's not, it's not terrible. Definitely, definitely the hatch and uh, the passenger side here came out a little bit better than the other side, but we're gonna work on it. Um, I don't know if I should focus on the carpets next or on the dash. Um, I got the <laughs> the detailer staple, the turtle wax. So don't make fun of me about the turtle wax. My shipment from Amazon is delayed until May 1st, it looks like. So I had to make an obligatory, obligatory, Ob obligatory. Uh, I had to make a obligatory run to Walmart yesterday to detail John Ross's cars. So I'm rocking all the Turtle Wax products next to the Adams products. But it is what it is. 
it still does the job and uh, we'll see if it can work anything on these carpets. So I think that might be my next move. Josh from the future here. That's not gonna be our next move. We're gonna use some interior detailer and do things. Interior detailer didn't do as much as I was wanting it to do. Um, here's what we have so far in this door card here. Um, so, I don't know. Um, I have some stuff that I can try. Um, possibly some other interior stuff. Um, but for now, I think we're going to go ahead and try this carpet cleaner and uh, see what how fruitful this becomes. So let's try it on this uh, door card here. This stuff you should just shake. Oh, that is a wondrous stream of things. Okay. There that. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Oh, Jesus. Please don't get pulled over. It's, it's still slow enough to enjoy. Like, I didn't. That, that was not get pulled over instantly speed. That was just whatever. Alright, so. Could definitely use some. Definitely use some more. I think that's what we're gonna do. Because when it doesn't work, you use more of it. It is slowly but surely making its way out. Quick complaint, the road noise is really loud in here for a luxury sports car, my goodness. Just use some more, shall we? Honestly, not too bad. let that dry and move on to uh, something else. Josh is still going ham on the interior in here and already it looks amazing and he's, he said he already showed you guys some of the crazy stuff that he found. While he's working on that I'm gonna take a look at this Bluetooth cassette adapter. I've heard about these but I've been buying uh, good cars lately uncharacteristically. I've actually been buying stuff that's not total garbage and they haven't had cassette decks so I'm kind of excited to have an opportunity to test this out. Having a garbage car has actually been incredibly refreshing for me. 
So let's pull this thing out. This is just a $12 thing from Walmart. Last I knew these were still like 40 bucks. So we've got the loudest crackling ever. And then here's the unit, this side up, model VM209B by Auto Drive. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. So it looks like micro USB to charge, on off switch. Uh, oh, that looks like that's on. So let's, all right, wow, look at how clean the LCD is. It's so vivid now, so let's, okay. So that's the other question is, does this tape deck work? Okay, that was some interest. Oh, oh. No, no, no. Copyright. Trying the bottom, trying the top, trying the bottom again, trying the top again. Ah. Oh. Pair new device, VM209B. Wow, pops right up. Pair. I'll just get some Spotify playing through this thing. It also might be wrong about this side up. Let's try it the other way. Okay, so let's try, let's try this again, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it works, it works, but then the, the player just doesn't like it. So I think what I might actually do is take this apart because sometimes, let's see here, how do these gears, how, do, how does this work? Oh, it's jammed. I mean, that'll do it. Okay, looks like I spoke a little bit too soon. Here's the inside of the unit. The gears aren't stuck, they're just really, really stiff. This is why my house is just full of junk because when I get something that doesn't work, I'm not like, oh, let's return it and get another one. I'm like, hey, I bet I can fix this. It's a problem. It turns out that the main spindles in the center just, the, the clearances are way too tight and they don't need to be because everything's retained by the other half. There's, there's no reason for them to be that tight. So what I did, is A, I just absolutely destroyed it with silicone spray. There is so much lubricant in there. And then I took some sandpaper and I'm just kind of wallowing out the hole in the middle of the gears a little bit so they'll spin freely. I already did this one on the left here and it spins very nice now. I think we may have a winner on our hands. I do love buying something and then having to finish it for the factory. That's always real fun. I like being the final step in the manufacturing process. Let's stick it in the car and see how uh, it sounds so right there into the all right just what 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 all right and it goes are you getting dizzy yet all right so let's just get some uh copyright free music here this is uh howling by cartoon so for whatever reason it just it took two tries i don't know why also this thing is super noisy listen to this Yeah, so I guess you got a backing track to all your music. That's not great, but let's, uh, so Howling by uh, Cartoon, no copyright sounds. Let's give this a listen. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Maybe up with a slow motion crew. And we up in the clouds when change but not us I think I can live with that hybrid chat so basically um, it's the same thing as a late 2000 Civic except with even less power phenomenal and a way worse transmission oh man yeah, the clutch is nothing. Even even compared to my, I get in my Miata, I'm like, oh, this thing's a leg workout after driving this. Oh, I feel the power. Oh. I feel like everybody's favorite dad right now. This feels a lot quicker from the passenger seat than it does driving <laughs> it, honestly. Driving it. Tell Elliot I'm coming for the Prius now. Oh. <laughs> yes! This, yes! I did it! I spun in second! That's awesome! So the red door is great. I love having an actual door. I don't like how kind of janky it makes the car look. 
So I have a solution. So I was trying to think of ways to make this door look intentional and uh, Watch JR Go actually helped me out here. He uh, cut this on his vinyl cutter. Can you tell what it is yet? Does that look lovely? Um. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. Supreme door, very limited edition. You can't buy them anymore. I got the only one. That's, oh, that's really dumb. I love it. Okay, one more thing. Uh, you know the, you know the illist decals? The yeah, script? Yeah, yeah. Why be illist when you can be most disease? It's funny, because it's a disease. Yeah, I feel like this might not be quite <laughs> politically correct right now, but I'm here, I'm just, I'm here for a good time. Don't roll up at a hospital with that. Great. Now I'll, now I'll fit in with all the kids. Now everyone on the Insight forums won't get it, and uh, everyone at the car shows also won't get it. <laughs> awesome! <laughs>